Hey, what's up guys, it's the Saints fan, and oh man, do I have something cool to show you guys today. You may have already heard about these because a lot of people have been talking about them. They look amazing. You may have seen some pictures, but in this video, I have some actual gameplay of the three secret locked supercars that are going to be coming to GT Online in the near future. In addition to that, I have how much they're going to cost courtesy of Fun MW2. So I hope you guys are ready. We'll start with the first one. This one is probably going to be the least favorite out of all three. This one is the 770. That's the name in the files. The price, and this is actually the picture that you'll see on the Legendary Motorsports website, but the price is $695,000, which honestly isn't too bad. I'm thinking this one's going to be a sports car, just because that price tag, it fits all the other sports cars, and it, it looks pretty cool. Like, the front looks nice. As we switch to the gameplay, you can see the back also looks kind of nice. It's got a lot of detail on the hood, and this is just the stock. This isn't with all the customization. The customization still isn't working. Once that does work, though, I might make another video or I might even bring it into online and maybe test it against some of the cars that, were, that are already in the game. This one does only have a primary color slot. That's about the only thing we can change. So if you're were wondering about the paint job, well, now you know. Again, though, I think it'll be pretty cool if it's on par with the brand new Grotti that just came in and the Masakro, then that'll be awesome. The next car, this one is going to be a fan favorite, I feel like. The Pifster 811. This one is actually a supercar, and this is the picture you're going to see on the Legendary Motorsports. Its price tag is $1,135,000. And honestly, that's a pretty damn sexy looking car for that price tag. I'm not sure about customization or like performance and all that, but the looks alone, that's definitely really nice looking. In my opinion, that one's way better looking than uh, some of the new cars we just got yesterday this one however does have the two-tone you can color the like the body and then you can also color the top the roof pretty awesome and i feel like it's a good alternative especially if it is competitive in the super class to some of these other more expensive cars and then last but not least this one this one i feel like is going to be the one everyone talks about just because how crazy it looks this one is called the proto tippo in game it's actually called the Grotti X80 Proto. It is a supercar. This one is actually an ultra supercar, which I'll get to what that means in a second here. The price tag though, I don't know if I want to say this because I feel like people are gonna go crazy. It's 2.7 million dollars. That's that's ridiculous. 2.7 million. However, I will say this: like I mentioned, it's an ultra supercar. And what I mean by that, according to Fun MW2. Its stats are just insane. It beats every supercar in every single category. It beats them in top speed, acceleration, and traction. So this car seems like when it comes out, it's going to be the king of the hill. It's going to be the king of all supercars in GTA Online. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad because obviously it's going to unbalance the supercar class, but that'll be interesting to see how it actually plays out. You can see the looks though. This thing looks incredible, man. The, the freaking curves, the front, the back. The spoiler on this one is really awesome looking. It's almost like a plane's wings. When you stop, it'll actually go up. When you drive forward, it doesn't really move. But when you turn left or right, it'll like flutter or shudder, I guess, to the left or the right, depending on which way you're going. I think it's a really awesome feature. I don't know if this one, I would imagine this one probably won't have that much customization. You did see though, it does have the two-tone color scheme, which the color scheme looks amazing. This one I think though is going to be the car we see a lot though when it does come out. And speaking of when it does come out, that is what everybody is kind of wondering. When are these three unreleased cars coming out? People are saying, oh, they're going to come out in the Cutting Stunts update, but these are in the executives folder this is in the new folder that was released with all the dlc content so my bet is that they're gonna pull a lowriders 3 and just release these over the course of three weeks i don't know if that's gonna start next week or if that's gonna start in two weeks but i feel like this is what's gonna lead up to the cunning stunts update so get ready start saving some money i'll be doing some ceo guides potentially over the next few days in case you need some money because in my opinion the pifster and the proto those are must buys and then the 770 that might be a buy if it is good anyway that is it with the video hopefully you guys found this helpful drop a like that'd be much appreciated it helps me out a lot subscribe if you aren't already gonna have a ton more 
awesome videos today and sorry for not doing the the live stream yesterday testing the cars as you guys know gt online was going crazy it wasn't working for like half the day so that kind of screwed everything up i will be doing that live stream later on today though so if you guys want to stop by and hang out then you can do so but got a couple more videos coming out in a few hours see you guys then as always though it's your boy saints venom out peace